Earthquakes occur all over the world, but here in Alaska, they occur quite frequently. Earthquakes are still a mystery to many, and researchers like Dr. Casey Adderhold and Ryan Birma are gathering scientific data to learn more about seismology. Seismology is the study of earthquakes and ground motion, and we use those earthquake recordings to study the structure of the Earth. A National Science Foundation funded project, the Transportable Array, is the biggest advancement in seismology recently. Seismic stations have been strategically placed all around the world on land, mountains, oceans, lakes, and in remote and urban areas. The most important piece of equipment in each station is the 40 pound seismometer. This is the seismic sensor and this is what goes down the hole and uh, there's a metal casing that goes down about 10 feet and at the very bottom of that we put a plug and put cement down there to make it waterproof and seal it. The seismometer transmits very important data about earthquakes to the monitoring equipment inside the seismic station. Seismic data will come in from the sensor, um, get uh, run in through here and then it actually gets uh, recorded to memory down in this little box here. My favorite part about this is what's hooked up right now and that's a computer and you can actually detect when there is ground motion. So right now there's a few little waves here and there but watch what happens when I stomp on the ground because you're going to see something really cool. And there are my stomps, four of them in a row. We had seismometers march across the U.S., the lower 48, starting in California and moving along until they reached the Atlantic Ocean on the East Coast. And these sensors were installed in a grid pattern so that we could image, like a CAT scan, underneath the, the ground. Over 1,600 of these seismic stations were installed in the lower 48. Since the project was so successful, the transportable array seismic stations continued on to Alaska. Here, there are 280 stations total, with one station about every 50 miles. In addition to measuring earthquakes, the stations now include other sensors that measure weather information and soil temperatures. The data scientists are receiving is invaluable and will help communities plan for future natural disasters. Well, the more we understand about earthquakes in any location is going to help us learn about earthquakes in all locations. Also understanding the earthquakes that are happening now, um, we can uh, map out faults and understand what kind of hazard we'd expect in a certain area. How uh, sturdy do you need to build your buildings? How large of a tsunami is possible? How much run up, how far up do you have to build? Um, these are things that will affect people um, in their everyday lives. While predicting exactly when and where an earthquake will occur, seismologists are learning more about potential risk. We can map out faults and understand how large of an earthquake we'd expect on it. And in that way, we can forecast um, the hazard for people in that area. As far as what's next in understanding the structure of the Earth, Dr. Adderhold says everyone should stay tuned. Science, it takes a while, and so we have this data coming in. The results of this study, the results of this project are going to be continuing for decades after, after we've taken these stations out. In Alaska, I'm meteorologist Cheryl Nelson for AccuWeather.